Hi, JK. You told me you like to reduce risk by doing blue-green deployments. How does that work? I'd be happy to share, Martin. It's so good to have you back on serverless expeditions again, JK. I'm happy to be back, Martin. Now, it's been a while. Uh, what do you do these days? All kinds of things. I'm helping teams with testing and automation, as well as helping startups scale. Recently, I worked with a team to help improve the stability and reliability of their software changes by implementing blue-green deployments on Cloud Run. Oh, deployments are scary. When I worked in startups, deployments often cause downtime and errors. Yeah, deployments can add risk to your system. And that's why I always advise my clients to have strategies for reducing risk. And one of my favorites is blue-green deployments. Reducing risk sounds great, uh, but how does it actually work? In a regular deployment, you upgrade your existing system in place. For example, you deploy new code, update settings, and so on. Yeah, right. And that's the part that's scary and risky. Exactly. It's risky to update things in place, as a mistake can bring down your live system. Live environments and remote systems are often differently configured to the local development environments, and the system update might take time. Your system may not be responsive, or it might behave weirdly during that time. Right. Uh, I've seen developers say it works on my machine, and then it breaks in the cloud. Um, I might even have been guilty of that myself a few times. I think we've all experienced that at least once. The idea behind blue-green deployments is that we eliminate the risky part. Instead, we prepare a new production environment with the code and the settings. And we call that the green environment. Our existing environment is the blue one. We can then take our time to prepare the green environment because it's not exposed to any users. Once it's ready, we switch from blue to green. That cutover can be very quick. And you said a minute ago that you helped a team do this uh, with Cloud Run? Yeah, Cloud Run has built in support for this kind of pattern. Let me show you how it works. First, let me deploy the blue version of my code. I built a very simple application in Node and Express. When it receives a GET request, it returns some hard coded HTML. The HTML includes a blue background and some text. Now, I'll deploy the application with gcloud run deploy. I'm also adding the tag blue. This will take a minute. Okay, it's done. So here's the URL of my cloud run service. If I open that in the browser, I see the blue page. All right, and that's the blue version, the live version that users are seeing. That's right. Now let's say in the next version of this web page, it should have different text or a green background or something like that. I'll make those updates in the code here. Then I'll deploy this new version using the same gcloud command, but we'll add no traffic option. And I will set the tag to be green. And no traffic, that means no traffic will be sent to this new version? That's right. If I go to the Cloud Run service in the console, I see that the blue version still receives 100% of the traffic and that the green version is on zero. It's worth pointing out that whilst no live traffic goes to the green version, the Cloud Run service will send some health check probes to the container to make sure that the deployment is successful. Very good. We don't want uh, users to see the green version just yet, right? Well, that's right, yeah. We want to make sure it's ready to go and we want to test it ourselves before we open it up to regular users. If I click on the green tag here, my browser opens up the green version. We can see the URL for that version here in the address bar. And that's the URL we can use for testing. That's very useful. We're testing in production but without exposing the new version to external users, right? Exactly. Regular users are not accessing the special URL with green in it. They're just accessing the regular URL for the Cloud Run service. Now, let's say our testing is complete, we haven't found any bugs, and it's time to cut over so the regular users see the green version. In the console, I'll click Manage Traffic. I'll select the green version and set it to 100%. And then I'll click Save. Now, let's go back to the user's browser and click Refresh. It will open the green version instead, that all the external users are now seeing that version. That looks very handy, JK. But I have a few questions. Go, Martin. Go ahead. So I've read some blog posts saying that blue-green deployments are expensive uh, because basically you have to run two copies of your entire production environment. Yeah, that's right. But equally, that's the beauty of serverless and Cloud Run. We only pay Google per request to the service. If we get a million users or requests per day, it costs us the same to handle them, regardless of whether they are handled by the blue or the green environment. 
Mm, I see. Now, I shot an episode with Steve uh, where he said that rollbacks are important. We should be able to roll back to previous version if we discover that our new version has a bug. Now, how would that rollback thing work in, in this uh, blue-green scenario? Rollbacks are easy if you're using blue-green deployments because your old blue environment is still around and you can switch back to it. Let me do it right now to show you. I'll click on the Manage Traffic button again. Then I'll send 100% of the traffic to the blue version. Now, if we open the URL for the Cloud Run service, I get the blue version again. We've just had a successful rollback. Nice. Uh, you said that you helped a client set up blue-green deployments. Is this how you did it, by manually setting traffic in the Cloud Console? Yeah, well, for small projects, you might want to use the console to click through and make the change yourself to get a feel for it. But if you wanted to take it a step further, you could create some kind of end-to-end -end test that run checks against the green version. Then, when the test's complete, Cloud Run can switch the traffic over from blue to the green version automatically. This allows the end-to-end -end test to be run against a live environment, replicating as much as possible what the users might see to validate that the changes are successful. All right. Thank you for showing us this, JK. I should start using blue-green deployments for my applications. Thank you very much again for having me, Martin. It's always a pleasure. And thank you, everyone, for watching. If you have questions for JK or me, please add them in the comments section below. Also, let me know there if uh, there are any other serverless topics you'd like to hear about in future episodes. I read every single comment. Until next time. Mm -hmm.